Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back to Terraria. This is episode 21 and I've done a couple of things between this episode and the last one. You may notice I'm wearing a different armor. This is the jungle armor. So you got the jungle hat, shirt and pants. And this is more of a magic user armor. It increases your maximum mana and your magic, uh, magic critical strike chance. And with the set bonus, you have a 16% reduced mana usage. So it's pretty nice. I have my Crimson Armor over here. Uh, I've also crafted some other things, mainly accessories. I combined my um, Cloud in a Bottle with my Red Balloon to make an, a Cloud in a Balloon. And you can combine plenty of accessories in the Tinkerer's work table over here. Uh, they, they, um, they must not be equipped. So I combined my Hermes boots with the um, rocket boots that I bought from the Goblin. And let's see, I think that was it for accessories. Two boots and the balloon and the cloud in a bottle. Wearing the band of regeneration, maybe I should replace this one. Let's see, what other accessories do I have here? I have a nature's gift. I think I have... Oh, I have plenty more nature's gifts in here. Plus 2% damage, plus 1 defense. Let's take an angry nature's gift, maybe. Or maybe the Shield of Cthulhu again. I'm not sure what to take as the uh, fifth accessory. Oh, I also combined a watch, which is just some gold and a chain. Um, a watch, a depth meter, compass, and I think something else to make the GPS. So we have three items in one, or four. No, it just shows position and tells... No, only three items, I think. And let's see, I think I have pretty much everything that I need. Uh, do I really want a fourth accessory? Movement speed, movement speed, melee speed. Maybe just something with defense. Or maybe absolutely nothing at all. Let's just keep that. Uh, what else? Oh, I also crafted some heart lanterns. Just some chains and one heart. So those hearts that uh, we can't use are actually useful still. Give me some of my slime friends. Let's see, I think we're ready. I have potions. Yeah, we're going to fight the Queen Bee. Oh, I've also crafted this ruby staff and reforged it into a godly ruby staff. This one is made from gold and rubies. I think it's the second best one. The best one is made with diamonds, but I haven't found any diamonds. At least that's what the wiki says. So let's take a quick ride to the jungle. I brought some platforms, we're gonna make some sort of an arena. And place some hearth canisters around. Got some iron skin and regeneration potions. I mainly crafted all these accessories just so we can get some more mobility, since we were pretty much lacking that in the last few fights, especially the brain. So there is more than one beehive down here, so... I'll just have to... See, we've been to this one. I guess we can go to that one over there. Over here, so we'll go all the way to the right, I guess. Ah, got a mining potion. Am I going the right way? I guess. Oh, 
Oh, this map is kind of cool, actually. Haven't used the maps much, since it just takes a huge part of the screen, especially this this one. But it's actually pretty cool that I'm uh, my little character is actually on the part of the map that I'm supposed to be. That's kind of nice. So yeah, I've been exploring this um, this little area. There's a lot of it there. Uh, let's not go this way. I don't want. I don't want to flood that. I've been exploring the jungle a little bit. Got some more stingers and jungle spores. Jungle spores were the hardest part. Ow. Uh, how do I get there? How did I get there? What? I got there somehow. I can't remember from... Huh. Not remember the way I took. I guess I'll just mine over here. So yeah, I've been exploring this a little bit. Haven't found any more uh, jungle chests, actually. Which makes me kind of sad. I don't have all the jungle items, but uh, the ones that I don't have are... Uh, I don't think I need them as much. Although I guess there's a magic item that I kind of wanted, but... If I never find them, if they're not in this world, I can just... Create a new world and go farm there. Oh, it's up there. Here we are. So let's light this place up. And let's not break the larva. And we'll make a ton of... Hmm, this one is actually a bit small, but it'll do. Let's get some platforms. I don't really need platforms all the way down here. Just make a bunch of these. Doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's functional. Yeah, so there's a, a set number of beehives in the world, and if you kill the larva, you summon the queen bee. So there, there is a limited number of summons. You can, however, craft an item called the Abimination, which will summon it uh, anywhere in the jungle area. So I, I guess we, can, we could even fight it up top if we wanted to. And if you don't get all the things you need, you can just get a new world and farm it there just bring all the stuff you need and happy farming the same for any ores and uh, if you want to farm corruption if you're in a crimson world and want corruption you can just create a new one and take your character character there farm what you want and just come back to your regular world Not placing these properly, am I? Okay, this should kind of work. Uh, we're gonna use our ruby staff for this. Uh, let me place some heart lanterns. So 
so we can get some regeneration going. Um, one. Oh, I... What? Okay. Wasn't really ready for this. I should have crafted some mana potions, actually. Damn it, how, how, how did that break? Was it my slime killing an enemy? Was it me jumping down? Damn, that thing is tough. Oh, I changed my... okay. Yeah, I should dodge these. Okay, avoid the stingers. Why? What does my item keep changing? What am I doing? This is not looking good. Nope. Oh, antidote. Oh, was I poisoned? Oh, I actually have just to think for that. Well, that sucked. Just when I uh, finished my damn uh, arena. Damn it. I think I got an item for that. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, it's not here. Ah! Violent Bezoir. Guess we'll remove the regeneration for now. Okay, I guess I'll have to make my way back there and place the arena somewhere else. God damn it. Okay, so... I've actually found another hive. Unfortunately, there was no larva that I could see, so which means I accidentally hit it when I didn't see it with something and the bee appeared again and killed me. So we're going with a different strategy. As you may already notice, we're going to the crimson. Ah, here's one. There's one of these altars, so let's make... The abomination. We need five honey blocks, one stinger, five hives, and bottled honey. Let's make plenty of these. Okay, so bottled honey is made by, well, getting some bottles, uh, using some bottles within a pool of honey. And as, you've ma as you may notice, I've made a little arena here in the jungle. Oh, hello, goblin. You're not welcome here. It actually has a respawn area. In case we die, and we probably will. Let's keep the door open. Okay, so I think I have everything, all the regen stuff in here. Got my weapons, got my crimson rods, I... Uh, reforged some of my stuff. Just so it gives me a little bit more defense, perhaps. Let's try it. Quick buff. Come on, B. Why does my item keep changing for some reason? Those stingers are very annoying. They deal quite a lot of damage. The tiny bees, very annoying too. Let's just keep mobile. Oh, 
I'm a terrible shot with this. Uh, get out of there, that's a bad place to be. Come on, B. Feel the might of the Ruby Staff. Oh yeah, this one is a good arena. Okay, he's doing the horizontal stuff. That's easy to dodge. The Stingers is the thing that hurts the most. And it actually, and it actually poisons me. So that's why I have the Bezoar equipped. It's actually a drop from the jungle enemy, so I actually have two. I guess was. Why do I keep? I don't get it. My item keeps changing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. I um, pretty good health regen. Maybe my cursor. Oh yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. I keep holding my button, so I guess whenever my cursor gets close to, to the hot bar, I actually select select it. Oh, I'm out of mana. That's a first. Still not half health. This guy's tough. Really wish I could deal more damage. And these tiny bees are annoying with the knockback. I think I'll only kill this boss again once you go to the dungeon so you can get some better magic stuff. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Oh, more swipes. Yeah, my mouse gets too close to the hotbar. Luckily, my magic mirror is not there. Although I spawn right here, so I don't think that that would be too much trouble. Yeah, I think I killed all the tiny bees. Yeah, these mana crystals regen quite a bit of mana, so let's try and save them. And by trying saving them, I mean let's just get them all. Yeah, I think I can stay stationary once it starts summoning the little bees. Just dodge the horizontal charges. Dodge the stingers. And kill the tiny bees. That seems to be all there is to this. And these outside arenas are way, way better. Out of mana again. Way, way better than the... Um, than fighting within the hive. There's no comparison.
Come on, B. I will end you. Oh, it's getting faster charges now. Should probably heal. Should probably... Faster charges and faster stingers. Oh boy, am I going to die? No! Hit it! Seventy one health. Come on, I can do it. Yeah, whew, got way, way harder towards the end. I guess that's usual behavior. Uh, what do I get? Ah, treasure bank, there it is. I wonder what it was. So we have B wax, true, this is for a B nade, throwing weapon, a B shirt, a hive wand, places hives, honeycomb, releases beads when damaged, and a jagged hive pack. Increases the strength of friendly bees. Oh, this might be a summon thing. Okay. Seems useful. Uh, should we do this again? What's the beeswax for? Maybe to craft some stuff. Uh, let's see, I have plenty of abominations to farm this guy. Oh, the bee's knees! 26 ranged damage. Would an arrows turn into a column of bees? Oh! I see. It's pretty cool, I guess. We could try it. Now let's actually try these. Check it, hive pack. I don't think I need the horseshoe for this one. Releases bees when damaged. Zopa the Witch Doctor has arrived. Ooh, Witch Doctor. That seems interesting. Okay, our health is full. Let's do this one more time, if I can. Uh, how much damage do I do with this? Seems to be... seems to deal a decent amount of damage. Uh, this one is still faster, though. Oh, quick buff. Release the bees! Fighting bees with bees! Oh, hello, jungle bats. You're not welcome here. I defeated the hundredth jungle bats. Get her, bees! Oh, this seems extremely powerful. Just look at that. Ton of bees.
Wow, so many bees. So many friendly bees. Okay, 1500 health left. Oh, I should probably do this. Oh, yeah. Why haven't I done this before? I can super dodge this with my jumps. I got mad jumps, yo. Again, yeah, the little bees do... It, it, it's like a dot. That's, that's pretty nice. And I guess I can dodge the faster charges a lot better now. Oh yeah. You got nothing on my slime mount, Queen Bee. This is not the arena. Almost. Oh yeah. Go my swarm. My beautiful swarm. Oh yeah, this was a lot, a lot easier. Bee pants, another jagged hive pack, and a hive wand, and a quick bee gun. Nine magic damage, shoots bees that will chase your enemy. Oh my god. This looks amazing. Uh, fine. One more. So many bees! Oh, th does the hive pack increase the damage of these bees? I am the queen bee now! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I, I think I had so much trouble with this guy. Oh, I'm out of mana. Uh, where is the... Oh, never mind. Here's mana. And to think I had so much trouble at the start with this guy. The things a proper arena can do for you. It's amazing. So much damage. I I'm not sure what's, uh, what does the most damage. This gun or the, um, the bee's knees. This has a lot of DPS potential, but the bee keeps moving around. Once it's stationary like this though, just look at that sweet, sweet damage. Beautiful. Go, oh, my pretties. Show her who the real queen bee is. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I should stay lower so the bee stays inside the arena and actually gets attacked by my bees. Doesn't work if she's outside. Ton of damage. Let's move the bee's knees to my hotbar, in case I run out of mana. It actually doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. Maybe I'll have to get a DPS meter from the traveling merchants, if he sells one. from 1600 to... Yeah, it didn't do that much damage. Like a hundred. Well, I guess it's pretty good. And they keep following, so I don't have to aim properly. Out of mana. Come on, summon your little bees. Okay, B gun time. I don't know, I think the bee's knees were more effective. Was more effective. Yeah, my my buffs are already gone. And with when I use the other when I use the bow, uh, I still had buffs left by the time the fight was over. I suck at aiming, apparently. Almost one more shot, perhaps. Okay, two more shots. Or maybe not. Oh no. I thought that set 30 for a moment. It's clearly not 30. There we go. And now we get a queen bee mask, another uh, bee's knees, hive wands.
More hive packs. Yeah. I am the queen bee. Okay, I think we've... and more bee wax. I have to see what, uh, what I can do with that. I think we're missing one of the items. Explodes into a swarm of bees, of course. I'm missing one of the items. There's the bee's knees, the bee gun, uh, maybe a melee weapon? Maybe. Okay, this episode has gone long enough though. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of me killing the queen bee and getting killed. Oh, hello, Zopa. Why are you here? Desert water fountain, pure water, jungle water, icy. Huh. Some water fountains, a blowgun, and an imbuing station. Interesting. I'll move this guy to my house, though. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you all next time for some more Terraria.